Hello fans, I, um, I looked more into that um, instrument I bought at uh, Value, Value Village. I went over to Long and McQuaid and a few guys looked at it. One guy said, as I really thought it was, he said it was Asian. And I always thought when I first saw it at Value Village, I thought of like Chinese or something like that. Eh? And um, apparently um, he figures that's what it is. It's an Asian instrument. And as I thought also too, um, it needs a bow. And he says, yeah. He says, it needs a bow. And also too, what I said to him, the, the nylon strings on it shouldn't be there. And he agreed. And what I did was I picked up four violin strings. I put them on the instrument. I had a bit of trouble putting them on. And um, bows are expensive. Um, but you, I could buy a short bow. But I'm using the bow I have right now with the violin I have to show you the results and I I'm trying to tune it because I don't play violin I'll go get it for you one minute please it's just a foot away okay here it is and I roughly put the strings on it just rough eh and apparently uh, as I thought too it does pivot and it's supposed to pivot because if it's um see you turn it it changes the sound. Instead of having a bridge that is shaped like that, the actual neck on this shapes so you can be in contact with the strings when you're using the bow. It turns and, you know, different sizes. Now, like I say, I don't play a violin, so this will give you an idea. My Stradivarius, just like the pros. Turn it the other way. See, it changes sounds. Now, I don't think you hold it like this. I think you can hold it any way you want, but you have to learn how to play it. That's the only thing. high notes. I've got to put some resin on this bow. Anyways, that's it folks. I think that's what it is. No, actually, I think it is old. And that is a bowl. Bye.